So in question 15, we've been told that a cyclist is towing a trailer behind her bicycle. Now she is riding along a straight horizontal path at constant speed. That's a very important aspect. Um, now a tension of T newtons acts on the connecting rod between the bicycle and the trailer. And the cyclist is causing a constant driving force of 40 newtons to be applied whilst pedaling. So we know that there's a constant driving force of 40 newtons by the cyclist. Now there's also a constant resistance force acting on the trailer which is 12 newtons and we can sort of write this out like this now in part a we've been asked to state the value of t giving a clear reason for our answer now one important piece of information again is the fact that both of the trailer and the biker are moving at constant speeds and also there is a resistance force acting on the trailer which is 12 newtons now since the trailer is not accelerating that means that the forces around the trailer are balanced or they're in equilibrium which means that the tension force which acts in this direction respected to the trailer would be equal to 12 newtons as well so that means that t would be equal to r essentially meaning that t is equal to 12 newtons and why we have to state our reasoning here essentially because um constant speed of the trailer means forces are balanced and that should be enough to yield you with the two marks of this part now in part b we have to state one assumption we have made doing uh, to reach our answer in part a and essentially one main answer to that is that we assume the rod will always stay horizontal and there's no vector component that's going to be added to it so essentially an assumption like the rod stays horizontal is perfectly valid for this question So for question 15c, we have to find the external resistance force acting on the cyclist and her bicycle. Um, now, we have found in previous parts that the tension force is equal to 12 newtons. Now, respective to the trailer, the tension force will be acting this way, but respective to the cyclist and her bicycle, the tension force is acting away from her. So this would be equal to 12 newtons. Now, also, we know that there is a driving force of 40 newtons on the bicyclist which means that in order to balance the forces around us since she's moving at constant speed we have to write the balance such that the driving force is equal to our resistive force plus the tension where 40 would be equal to r plus 12 and r would thus be equal to 28 newtons and that is the final part of question 15.